the challenge in managing uh, <coughs> resources in Antarctica is that some countries may not be willing to do it in a sustainable way. And yet in order for the ecosystem to remain healthy, it has to be sustainably managed. However, in Kalama, in Kamala, a complication is that decisions are taken by consensus. And by that, everybody in the room has to agree before a decision can be implemented. And therefore, it takes a long time to effect any decision that has been taken. The code of conduct for responsible fisheries emphasizes on certain key pillars. Most important to us is work being done in an ecosystem-based way, firstly, and secondly, the precautionary approach. In Kamala, in addition, we have a structure that enables us to balance the needs for conservation as well as the needs for sustainable use. There is quite a lot that other fishery bodies can replicate from Kamala. Most important is that decisions must be science-based, firstly. Secondly, they must take decisions by consensus. If the decisions are taken by consensus, it means that everybody has had a chance to buy into it. And therefore, we cannot afterwards say, I do not want to obey this, because you had bought into it, you had supported it. I think those will be the major lessons uh, other bodies can take from Canada.